Alright, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. I use my spinning rod a lot when I'm fishing rivers, and that's what I was fishing with today. But fishing for Wilderness with Imani Patreon, I just got a really nice rainbow, and how I did it is by using a small bobber. I put this on the line because it's hard to get both clips on. And then I put a nymph. And here I just have a Copper John nymph. Heavier nymph that sinks fast. And this is a really good way of expanding your spinning rod attack to catch trout in rivers. It's tough when the river's flowing fast like today, but I have seen a fish over there that came up after my jig and he didn't hit it. So we fished and came back, I filtered some water, I rigged up this in this Copper John and this in this bobber, this tiny bobber, floating it through, floating it through, and it was and it worked like a charm. And I'm gonna demonstrate for you right now basically how you do this. You adjust your leader however deep you think you need it to get it down to where the fish are, how deep it is. If it's really shallow, like right there, it's fast and shallow where I caught that fish. Add a really short leader, and I was just throwing it up, letting it go, throwing it up, letting it go. So here, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration. So what I'm doing is, I just whip it up, let it go down, let it trip. Watch my ball, that goes down for a minute, hesitates, set the hook. You gotta let it run through a bunch of times. And it's pretty much fly fishing with a strike indicator. You can use a different kind of leader material. I just use six pound test. I catch fish, man. That's all I know. If you go through my river fishing playlist, I catch browns up to 20 inches using this. So I just throw it out there, get it in, drift it in, drift it through. And that nymph will sink. You can add weight. I don't usually. I just have my bobber out there. And if they're there, they'll hit it. Watch the bobber, watch the bobber, watch the bobber. No bites! <laughs> so we've been fishing all day. We're wrapping it up. I just wanted to show you this one trick to increase your attack with your spinning rod tackle. Just a little bobber and a, and a weighted nymph, a beadhead nymph or some kind of nymph can really expand your options when you're having a tough time getting fish to bite. And when the flow is down, it's a lot easier to do this. Right now, I got that fish to bite, but it was I was throwing it out, going, going by, throwing it out, going by. And then one time it just went down. When that thing goes down, you gotta set the hook. It's very tricky learning how to manage your slack line and stuff. Like everything, it just takes practice. I hope this helps you catch fish. You can add this to the other clip I have on my fishing tip playlist, where I use a bubble and a fly with a steady retrieve in an alpine lake. You might want to look at that too. Between this and that, that's a fly fishing dynamic you can add with your spinning reel. Thanks for joining me on Wilderness with the Body. Hope that helps you catch fish.